Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Smart Learning. Friends, happy independence to you all. So, I am Prakash, I will be your teacher for next 20 minutes. Friends, I talked about yesterday what is clause, phrase, sentence, and also I talked about finite clause, non finite clause, main, well, main, main clause, and subordinate clause. So, those who missed my video, please go and watch my video in my channel. So, today I am going to discuss about you types of subordinate classes in english we have three types of subordinate class friends those are adjective class adverb class and noun class these classes are very important friends so please watch the video till the end and let me bring my presentation in this video and i made for you friends i hope you enjoy it friends i talked about yesterday main class and subordinate class so let me remind you what is main class and what is about net class a main class is a class which express complete meaning and it cannot alone it it can alone as a sentence friends so this is called main class and subordinate class a subordinate class is a class which cannot express complete meaning and which cannot alone as a sentence friends and moreover subordinate class stand depends on main class to give complete meaning friends so let me give an example for that you can understand well if I watch, if I watch Prakasar videos, I will improve, I will improve my English. So here it is the example. So it is the sentence. In this sentence, if I watch Prakasar videos is a subordinate class, I will improve my English is main class because if we remove this part, I will improve my stand, stands as sentence and it can still give meaning friends. So that is why it is main class and so if I watch Prakasar videos is subordinate class because if we remove this part, it cannot stand as a sentence and it cannot give meanings friends so if i watch prakash or videos what will happen we don't know what will happen so it cannot give complete meaning friends so that it is called subordinate class friends so let me give another more example for it i saw a man who was i saw a man who was crying so so it is the example friend in this sentence who was crying is our subordinate class friends because it cannot alone stand as a sentence and it cannot give complete meanings friends and i saw a man i saw a man is our main class friends because if we remove this part still it stands as a sentence and it can give meaning friends so that is why we call it main class friends so we will go to next slide friends so as I said earlier, we have three types of clauses, adjective class, noun class, and adverb class. Friends, we will start with an adjective class. Before I discuss with adjective class, we should know about what is an adjective and what is an adjective function in a sentence. An adjective is a word which modifies the nouns. So modify nouns means it gives information about the nouns, friends. So let me give an example so that you can understand well. Red car. So red car here in this phrase red is the adjective friends it talks about the noun car and matter so it talks about the car so here the adjective red tells us that what color the car is so this is what an adjective does in a sentence friends i hope you understand what is an adjective and what's function adjective is so adjective function is it modifies the nouns friends so an adjective class now we discuss with an adjective class an adjective is a class which function as an adjective in a sentence friends in simple terms we may say adjective clause works as an adjective in a sentence is called an adjective class friends so we will move to next slide so here friends as i said earlier an adjective clause is a clause which acts as an adjective in a sentence like an adjective it modifies the nouns or pronouns it which means it gives information about the nouns or pronouns in a sentence friends so let me give an example for the adjective class the movie 
ऊंचाई सा वाज वेरी स्केरी फ्रेंड्स इट इज द एडजेक्टिव इट इज द एडजेक्टिव क्लास हियर ऊंचाई सा इज एन एडजेक्टिव क्लास फ्रेंड्स हियर व्हिच इज द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दिस रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन टॉक्स अबाउट मूवी और गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द नाउन फ्रेंड सो हियर लाइक एन एडजेक्टिव adjective clause also modifies the nouns friends so i hope you understand so we will go to next slide friends and also i want to one more i want to add one more point in this slide friends adjective clause starts with the relative pronoun why adjective clause starts with the relative pronoun only because it is the point you should remember because relative pronouns relative pronoun replaces the nouns so give me one more example for it for example raju is my friend and i met him so here Raju is the noun friend. In second sentence, him. So him is the pronoun friend. In second sentence, we didn't use again noun Raju friends. Instead of uh, noun, we use pronouns friends, which means here pronouns replaces the nouns friends. So here in the same way, adjective clauses also adjective clauses also modifies the nouns and, and it talks about the nouns friends so i hope you understand why we use relative pronouns in adjective class so which relative pronouns you next we will move to next slide so which relative pronouns we use in adjective class friends so for people uh, for uh, for people we use relative pronouns and also we use for things so so for people which relative pronouns we use friends i will draw a diagram for you to understand See, for people we use that or who you can use either that or who friends that is more popular than who friends and also whom for people we use whom also friends because so when we use whom because whom is the object of the relative class we use whom friends and for things which relative pronouns we use that or which we can use both friends it is up to you which can use either that or which so now we will see how to how we construct the adjective classes friends so to do so give me let me give an example for that for example the children the children or naughty so is it true all children are naughty friends no friends all children are naughty so i need to specify which children are naughty so so the children leave behind behind my home so these are the sentences these are two sentences friends so we change them into an adjective class so to change them in an adjective class we have to follow two rules the first rule is rule number 1 friends adjective class adjective class comes after the comes after the noun this is the rule number 1 so 
so here you have two sentences the children are naughty the children are leave behind so here we have same subject so first rule is adjective class comes after the noun so take the sen take the second sentence after the noun in first sentence friends so let me write it so that you can understand the children the children again the children leave leave behind my home or naughty so here we have two same subject friends two nouns so we don't want two nouns here so what we should do we should replace the noun with the relative pronoun so for people which relative pronoun we use either we use a we use either that or who so replace the noun with relative pronoun so second point so second rule replace the noun with relative pronoun this is the second rule so the children the children that leave behind my home or naughty so here this is the adjective class friends so in this adjective class that functions as the subject of this class friends and that also replace the noun children and also it talks about the children friends it gives information about the noun children friends i hope you understand so let me give one more example so that you can understand betterly so rohit sharma or rohit sharma is my favorite player rohit sharma rohit sharma hit two centuries two centuries two double centuries sorry two double centuries in cricket history so these are the two sentences and let's see how we change them into a adjective class so first rule is put the adjective class before the noun so here we have two adjective classes so put second sentence before the so after the noun rohit sharma rohit sharma again rohit sharma rohit sharma hit two centuries two centuries two double centuries friends two double centuries is my favorite play see friends here we have two nouns so we don't want two nouns here so what we should do second rule is replace the noun with relative pronoun so for people which relative pronouns we use that are which so you put relative pronoun and replace the noun uh, rohit sharma rohit sharma who hit Two double centuries. Who hit double centuries is my favorite player. So here in this sentence, who hit two double centuries is adjective class, friends. 
here the relative pronoun who acts as the subject of this relative adjective class this adjective class and rohit sharma is the subject of this class friends see it is the subject of this this is our main class so rohit sharma is the subject of this class here who relative pronoun acts as subject of this class he two centuries so this is the adjective class who acts as subject of this class adjective class so i hope you understand friends but you should remain you should you should know one more thing friends because sometimes this relative pronoun acts as the object of the adjective class so let me let me explain it let me show it how it acts as the object of the relative adjective class for example she gave me a she gave me a gift she gave me a gift i like it i like the gift then i like it gift i like it i like it gift so these are the two sentences and we make them into adjective class so first rule is put the adjective class after the noun after the object here here it is the noun and it acts as the object here so put the adjective class before the noun so after the noun i like the gift i like the gift i like the gift she gave me she gave me a gift so friends here we have two same objects here we don't want two objects so replace one object with the relative pronoun so for things which relative pronouns we use that are which so replace with this object with the relative pronoun so i like the gift i like the gift that she gave so let me give one more example for it so that you can understand very well i watch i watch a video prakash sir prakash sir sent a video so let's change let's change these sentences in into an adjective class so first rule is what i said put the adjective class after the noun so i watched a video prakash sir sent a video here friends here you have one object here and here you have one object so you don't want two same objects so remove one object so replace the object with the relative pronoun so i watched a video that that prakash sir sent so here friends that that prakash sir sent is the adjective class so here that act as the object of this sentence here this here this video object of this sentence and here this that is the object of this sentence friends so i hope you understand so so let me give you one hint for you so that you can you can easily recognize which is relative subject and which is relative object to friends for example if you are not able to recognize which is relative subject and which if you are not able to recognize that the relative pronoun how it acts as whether it is acts as subject or whether it is it is act as object of the sentence so i let me give an example hint for it for example 
if 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 subject if subject comes after the if subject comes after the relative pronoun relative pronoun then then it is the object of then it is the object of adjective class object of adjective class see friends see in this example so it is the relative pronoun relative pronoun so after relative pronoun we have subject here prakash we have subject here so whenever the subject comes after the relative pronoun then it is this that term and this that act as an object of this sentence friend this is the point you should remember point and you can note it friends so let me give another hint for you if if verb comes if verb comes after the after the relative pronoun then it is then it is subject of the adjective class then it is subject of adjective clause so see friends so if any verbs comes after the relative pronoun then it becomes subject of the adjective class see here it is the relative pronoun friends who is the relative pronoun here who is the relative pronoun after relative pronoun who we have verb hit so any verb comes after relative pronoun then here this relative pronoun act as the subject of this adjective class friends so now i hope you can understand how it acts as the subject and how it acts as the object so let me explain this point one more again one more time again for example if subject comes after the relative pronoun then it is the object of the adjective class so see here in this example here this is the relative pronoun friends that is the relative pronoun in this example so after immediately we have a subject she so whenever subject comes after the relative pronoun then this relative pronoun act as the subject of object of this sentence friends so you should remember this point and note this point friends so now we will go to next slide friends so now we will see how to use whom in relative clauses so whom for example take an example so priya is the person priya is the person i i gave a i gave a gift to her i gave a gift i gave a gift to her so so let's see how these sentences we change into an adjective class so priya priya is the priya is the person whom i gave a gift so here whom is acts as object of this sentence friends because here you have an object for this sentence so who acts as an object of this sentence and sentence friends so we should remember friends whom when we use whom it is the object of the adjective clause friends so i hope you understand when we use so now we deal with defining a non defining clause defining defining clause first we deal with the defining which person or thing we are 
talking about so here defining clause gives information essential information friends so that we can understand which person i am talking or which person which thing i am talking so let me give an example so that you can understand very well so where is the mechanic so which mechanic i want so i have to specify which mechanic i am talking about so that we use defining clauses friends so where is the mechanic that repairs computer my computer or computer so here this is the adjective clause friends here this that specifies the noun mechanic so here that gives information about the mechanic friends so this is about defining class friends so let me give one more example for example you are telling your friend that there are 10 girls and you want to show to your friend who is your sister so the girl the girl the girl who wears red rose is my sister so friends this is the adjective class so in this adjective class the relative pronoun who specifies the girl whom you are talking about so here who gives a information essential information about this girl whom you are talking about because there are 10 girls so among 10 girls who is your sister so the girl who wears red rose is your sister friends i hope you understand about defining class so now we will deal with non-defining class so non-defining class which person we are talking about which person we are talking about so friends non-defining class is a class which gives HN information so that which is not essential to understand which person I am talking about or which thing I am talking about so here in these are here we have two rules in non-defining class that we should follow first in non-defining class we use we use we use comma second we shouldn't use oops we we shouldn't use that we shouldn't use that relative pronoun that relative pronoun in non clause non non defining clauses so let me give an example so that you can understand very well so we have two rules first rule is we use comma in non-defining relative clauses and second rule is we should not use relative pronoun that so i was i was born in india relative comma which is in Asia so friends here I was born in India here it gives complete meaning it's ancient information friends it is not required to understand where I was born in so I hope you understand and let me give another example so this is this is Prakash Kama who teaches English friends this is Prakash it's enough it's okay but who teaches English it's a it's an information friends this is how we should use non-defining clauses friends so 
let me ask you one question my friend who has red hair won competition my friend who has red hair won competition so friends here friends here what is the difference between them friends here first sentence is defining clause second sentence is non defining clause but there is a difference between them in first sentence here my friend who my friend so i have only one friend who has red hair that friend won the competition friends in second sentence in second clause my friend that means it is non defining clause here my friend who has red hair won the competition that means you have so many friends those have red hair among them who has among them one who has red hair won the competition so this is how we make the difference between defining clause and non defining clause friends so i hope you understand adjective clause friends so let's practice it and next video we will discuss about noun class friends i request you please subscribe and follow my channel so that you will get the notification as soon as i upload a video friends please subscribe and like my videos friends it will be encouraged for me to do more and more videos friends have a good day keep smiling friends yours prakash